One of my friends ran into an issue with the sound unit here and actually had a couple issues. Now I wanted to test it out and make sure that it was oh, everything was good before I continued on filming with you guys. So first off I had some settings in my controller and on the ESC that need to be adjusted so I did that and fixed those issues. But the issue I was having with the sound unit after I got it all installed and I, I tested it out right here in the room. I ran it for about 5-10 minutes and I noticed my steering was a little bit off and needed to adjust the steering so I picked up the vehicle to adjust the steering. Now I moved the wheels back you know left and right left and right and stuff and when I did that and I was kind of doing it in a fast motion a little bit, just making sure that you know they're turning at the same radius and stuff like that. And uh, all of a sudden, the sound unit shuts off, comes back on. I was like, "Well, that's weird. Why is that doing that?" You know. So I checked the battery. Battery's good and everything. And it's like, is there a ground out issue? Is it grounding out? Is it short in the wire somewhere? What's going on? So I did it again, the same thing, turning the wheels, and it turn off once again all right so I was like one time I could see two a little too much but then with the third time that it did it shut off came back on well this time when it shut off I could actually hear the rear servo that operates the two-speed transmission start making a winding sound and just went Punch! so I was like whoa what happened here so after doing some research and looking through it, I've kind of come to the conclusion that the RC sound system, when it shut off and came back on, I guess maybe a little bit of power surge went through the vehicle and struck that rear servo back there that operates the two-speed, since that was the only stock electronics on the vehicle because I replaced the ESC, the servo, the motor and all. So that was the only other weak ES or electronic in the vehicle. So I think what happened is that when it came back on, power surge hit that servo and fried the crap out of it. So yeah, now I did fix the servo. I Luckily I had a replacement one. I actually pulled one out of my uh, QX4 crawler which is not currently running anymore. So I used that to put in there so I could have my two speed transmission back again. But uh, I don't think I'll be doing the sound unit. So I'm thinking that that sound unit itself is a faulty, defected uh, sound unit and it's having some issues. And whatever that issue is, I don't know. It's not something I can return back because it's something I bought months ago for the for the vehicle, and it just never really got around to running it. But uh, yeah, so looks like the uh, Project Humvee is not going to have its sound system in it, which really sucks. I really wanted the sound unit in this vehicle, and I guess that tip roll one just was faulty or just kind of messed up or whatever I don't really know and I'm not looking to try it again and burn up another servo I'm lucky I had one servo on hand uh, having another one not <laughs> not gonna be easy to have around here for me but yeah my friends so it it sucks that I don't I won't have the sound unit in the vehicle uh, but I guess I'll just have to Run it without the sound unit. Of course, I'll throw some music to my videos like always. But yeah, but I would love to have the sound unit. That would complete the whole uh, build on the Humvee here. This is actually part seven was going to be the last official video of Project Humvee. And then it was going to be doing the run video and everything. But uh, this occurred. So not going to happen. No sounds coming out of the Hummer other than... The motor sound as you hear and stuff like that so yeah what a way to end the project <laughs> a faulty sound system a burned out servo i'm telling you what it's been a real kicker and you know anytime that you do a project of any type you're always going to run into some kind of issue uh on your you know your build or your project there you're always going to run into an issue so yeah, so I guess this finishes up Project Humvee. It's been a lot of fun, my friends. Honestly, it's been a lot of fun doing this. 
uh, spending some time working on a vehicle, really knowing how this vehicle works and stuff like that. It's definitely been a big learning experience for me, learning on how to work on this vehicle, how to remove certain things and stuff like that. And I've gotten some people who asked me for their help on understanding the, uh, the, the mechanicals of the vehicle and stuff like that. And so I've been trying to help them people out as well and also learning myself on this vehicle. But yeah, no sound on the Humvee, that blows. <laughs> but it is what it is, can't have it all, right? Well, my friends, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that part seven turned out to be a bust. I really am sorry about that. That was not my doing. That was the manufacturer's sound unit. Now, if you guys do know a good sound unit that will fit into this vehicle, let me know. Comment down below and, and uh, tell me what uh, sound unit will be best in this vehicle. Now, this is the first time I've had trouble with the GT Power sound system. I have one in the Behemoth, which is a 6x6 military truck. Uh, I have the light and sound kit version in there, and it works perfectly fine. Uh, no issues out of that whatsoever. It starts up like it should, cuts off when it should, but for some reason, this one did not want to start up, didn't want to shut off, so that indicated that there was some serious problems with that, uh, that sound unit, so yeah. All right, my friends, well, thank you again for watching, and stay tuned for the upcoming video of Project Humvee when it's officially doing its running. Uh, so hopefully I'll get that film here very, very soon. If it will cool down a little bit. It's been very, very hot the last few days here, but oh well. Okay, my friends. I will see y'all in the next upcoming video of Project Humvee. Thanks for watching. Later.